Morning guys, it is coming up to five o'clock in the morning and I'm heading to Canic to go to a car boot. It's Thursday, it's drizzling, so there's no reports of it being off. So I'm gonna head up there. Hopefully it's not a wasted journey because I don't want to drive all the way up there and then find out it's closed. So if it's open, Let's go pick in and see what we can find. So look at me going out in the fields, pitch black, true reseller I am now. I can't see a thing, but let's see if we can get some things by getting up early or is it just a myth? the other one. Come on, where are they? one of these before sell for about 50 quid but the boob is burnt oh trusty how much is this fiver i'll have it for fiver yeah oh the baby ones huh? hold them yeah yeah, I've got a lot, haven't you? <laughs> is this your own collection, is it? <laughs> little brothers. Oh, is it little brothers, is it? Mm. I'm sure where to put them out today. Yeah, you think it's hit and miss, isn't it, the weather? What do you do for these three, that one and that one? We're down for a fiver. Eight. 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 We do... It's the best thing to do, mate. Seven. Seven. Knock a quid off because I'm buying a, I'm buying a bungalow. Yeah. yeah. There you go, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Even in the depths of the dark, there was a walker. Let's see. <laughs> How much is your walker? Hey, say that again. Twelve quid. Okay, I'll leave it. Okay. I could buy two walkers for that. Oh, is there? Excuse me. How much is your wheelchair? All right. Tenner. Tenner. I'll buy for a tenner. There you, you go. Okay. Cheers, thank you very much. Just needs a little wipe. Uh, 250. Can't do 250, mate. Get on, it's cheaper for that. Four quid. Four quid. I've only got a 20 pound note, that's, that's it. Yeah, I've got change. Body cam on the car, mate. Yeah? <laughs> so you can't all do me in? <laughs> Some people are proper dodgy, aren't they? We're not like that, mate. We're friendly people, we are. Three, four, five, six. There you go, mate. Cheers. How much is this? How much? Oh, I'll leave it now. You might think what I've picked up here. Well, it could be over 100 quid for a just a normal Zimmer frame walker. So, yeah, 
Picked it up for a fiver. Absolute bargain. Fed up against squishy, muddy feet. I'll see you back at home. It's a couple of hours later now. Um, I actually went to bed as soon as I got home because I was completely knackered. I have actually been up all night listing, scheduling, because I just want to get as much stuff out of the way as possible. I was wide awake and then I found out the car boot was on. So I thought, well, it's 12 o'clock. I'm going to be going to that car boot, leaving for about just after four. So I thought it's four hours. I can stay up. And then, yeah, I went to the car boot. So it's now the afternoon. I've had a few hours sleep, feel a little bit better. But let's show you what I've actually picked up because I don't know if I actually picked up some of the items. Let's start with the bag of plushies. So um, if I don't get these on camera, um, I'll let you know how much I paid for them. This I paid £2 for. It's uh, obviously an alien from Toy Story. Not worth that much. Probably worth about six, seven quid. I thought it might have been worth more because it's a large one, um, but it's actually not. I got these bullets as well um, with it, and yeah, they're worth about nine ninety nine. dollars so I picked up this bundle of teddies from the same person. I think he wanted 10 quid for all of them, so I think I gave him seven or eight quid. This is Captain Haddock from Tintin. It's a TY plush. It's worth probably about six or seven pounds. The Mickey Mouse is a talking one. This one's worth about 15 quid. And then I picked up these three together to make a bundle. These are kids' sensory ones, so they're Disney baby ones. I've got Jesse, Woody, and Buzz. These fetch around about seven to eight pounds each. So I'm going to bundle them up and probably sell them for about 15 to 20, mate. Probably about 20 pounds, and they should fly out. Next, I picked up this. It was pitch black. At the start of the video, you saw me pick up a rucksack, which was a green one, a Yale lock, and a pair of small Nike, I think it was about size 4, um, Nike Airs. Um, he wanted like £12, and I didn't really want to pay that at the start. Found out it was a good option not to do it, because the bag was only worth about £14, and there was hardly none sold, so great not to pick up stuff just because it was a start of the morning but when i ran around to, uh, to the next side of the lane i saw this one it's a van gogh sharper 65 rucksack these are a good make this goes anything from 40 pounds to 60 pounds so i'm going to probably put on about 50 pounds put, put it in the middle it's in good condition just needs a wipe over and what a surprise i picked up a wheelchair and a walker drive walkers 39.99 all day long paid a fiver and a very good wheelchair this is enigma and these are worth around i would say 80 to 100 pounds so i'll probably put it on for about 100 pounds but it is an aluminium one so it might be worth a little bit more um, and it's in really good condition the same person also had this and i've never picked up one of these it's a walking frame like a zimmer frame but this is for rehabilitation people you know people learning how to walk it holds up to 40 stone comes in two different sizes so i haven't measured the width of it um it all folds in both ways there um easy for storage but yeah this is worth more than the whole of the rest put together this brand new is worth anything from 180 to 235 pound. And when I clean it, I'm gonna see if there is any damage at all. Because when I actually bought this, the person was actually moved into the house. It was a person who was in um, going into a care home but they didn't take any of the stuff. He just left left it all and moved into a care home. He had that wheelchair and this. And he said, I don't think that's ever been used because I couldn't see no scratches on it at all. So I might sell this as new or I'm gonna sell it as used. I can't sell it as brand new, but if it is the more expensive one, which is around 230, 
there's no reason why I can't sell this for £180. So, absolutely worth staying up, going in the rain, going in the dark for that. So, I really had a good day. I mean, I've got not many items. I mean, I've got one, two, three, four, and probably about six or seven plushies. Yeah, so, not many things. But the total profit I could earn from all this is over 400 pound maybe there uh, obviously 880 280 200 300 what 20 300, yeah i could earn almost up to 400 pound um so absolute great morning it was worth going it was worth going in the rain it was worth going at the start so it just shows if you do go early you might be able to pick up some bargains but like i said these sort of things people just walk past every day anyway and yeah I'm there to take them obviously a lot of people in my comments do not like me picking up stuff like this which is from um, um, older people and that because it says it's taking off them but come on be serious who's gonna be up at five o'clock six o'clock in the morning when it's raining cold all slushy mud in the middle of nowhere and gonna pick up one of these nobody if they are capable of doing all that i don't think they need one anyway so yeah great day at the car boot and i might have to do it again next week because if it's going to be like this i can't not go anyway thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video hit me the thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again with another video goodbye